way we see insects. Most people tend to see insects as nuisances or pests. Often when we think of insects, we think of their detrimental effects on society and nature. For example, we see them eating our crops that we need for food, eating our trees that we need to build our houses with. They can be annoying household pests that sneak up and scare us when we least expect it. We can also see them as hideous vectors of disease. But did you know that insects, the most diverse multicellular organisms on the planet, can also be really important for both us and our environment? Here's why. As pollinators, pollination is probably the best known ecosystem service provided by insects. Insects help transfer pollen from plant to plant, thus aiding in reproduction of both crop and wild plant species. Pollination provides food for both us and many other important species. For example, 35% of global food production comes from plants that depend on insect pollinators. While we may think of bees at first, other insects such as flies, butterflies, and moths, and even some species of ant can be pollinators. As pest control agents. When we think of pest control, we may think of those guys in hazmat suits that drive around to houses exterminating rats and termites and other pests. But some insect species already do this for us naturally. For example, each year we release hundreds of ladybugs onto our plants to help us control aphid populations that would otherwise destroy our gardens. As herbivores. Herbivory plays an essential role in ecosystems. Herbivorous insects act as tiny plant pruners that help to stimulate growth and productivity of vegetation. In forests, their feeding creates gaps in the canopy, which allows light to penetrate the forest floor, and this allows new plant species to grow and thrive, including species which are important habitat for native pollinators. The bodies and waste products of herbivores are important sources of nutrients which are healthy for soils. As food, insects are essential food sources for wildlife and even people in many parts of the world. Though it may seem strange to us here in Montreal, insects make up between 5 and 10% of dietary protein in some cultures. Insects are also essential food sources for many species of fish, mammals, amphibians, reptiles, and birds. Animals that we depend on for food, such as fish and wild game, depend on insects as food sources, as do the many bird species we enjoy watching. In this way, insects help to support us and the wildlife we depend on. As manufacturers, Insects themselves are also important manufacturers of goods we depend on. All of the world's silk, for example, comes from just one species of silkworm moth. Yes, that lovely silk scarf you own came from an insect. Also, some products like honey we can only get from insects. Did you know how hardworking bees are? To make one pound of honey, an entire colony of bees must visit 2 million flowers and fly over 55,000 miles to reach this goal. Now imagine how many bees it takes to generate the 400 million pounds of honey consumed each year by the U.S. alone. As waste recyclers. Finally, we depend on insects to help us decompose waste. One example of this is dung produced by livestock. Some of it is collected and used for fertilizer, but 9,000 kilograms per cow a year in the U.S. alone is a lot of dung to deal with. This is where insects like dung beetles are an essential ecosystem service. For example, the decomposition of leftover dung by beetles saves the U.S. government billions of dollars per year. In the process, these insects are also helping to transport and plant seeds, thus helping new growth continue. The economic value of services provided by insects in the USA is estimated as high as $57 billion per year. Since we are dependent on so many essential ecosystem services provided by insects, it's important that we conserve their habitat. From the tiniest hedgerow to the largest tract of continuous forests, these natural areas are all important habitat for insects, as well as other sources of biodiversity. As a result, measures should be taken to ensure the persistence and care of these habitats.